What's going on, my LS Crazy Amigos? This is part two of gauges hooking up a temperature sending to read off an LS engine in an old school car. All right, now remember, 1971 Chevelle. Now, this car is equipped with a temperature gauge. I like using the stock factory gauges. So instead of going out and getting an aftermarket little gauge to read, there's a way you can hook up and use the temperature gauge in the car with this new engine. Now remember, you cannot use the sending unit off this engine because it won't rewrite. It's not calibrated. I guess the sender is not calibrated to read for the gauge to read it. It'll read it, but it will read it inaccurate. So there's a number of ways you can do it. Okay, now if you build in the car and you have the heads off and you take them to machine shop to have them machined, there's a port in the back of each head, or on this side it would be in the front. You can have one of those ports for the temperature gauge, for the stock temperature gauge that the engine came out of, you can have that bored out or drilled and tapped so you can put your stock sending unit in and it would read accurate. Or you could do what I did and what I did was I drilled and tapped the top of my water pump and I put the stock sending unit in there and that's how I got my temperature gauge to work. Come on, let me show you what I did. Alright, there it is right there. On top of the water pump, if you have a flat water pump like this in your LS, or if you don't, try to find a flat spot. And all you got to do is drill and tap a hole and, uh, what's it called, just mount it in there. Now what I did was I drilled and tapped. And here's the tap right here, half inch, this bad boy right here. All right, I drilled and tapped. And then I put it in there. Now, what you want to remember is you got this little vein right here, a little groove, whatever, this imperfection, this little casting mark, whatever you want to call it. Now, it's very important if you do this that you grind this down because you want this surface very smooth. Because what's going to happen is if this surface isn't smooth and you just bolt over it, what's going to happen is it's going to leak. It's going to leak because it's not getting a really good seal. So make sure you grind this down nice and flat. No matter, you know, like even if you move it forward, just grind it down so there's no imperfections in it and you got a nice flat surface. So you can, uh, what's it called, bolt it down and tighten it down. And always remember to use your Teflon paste. Now, one sec, let's get that in focus. Yeah, that's good it's going to get. Use your Teflon paste around the threads and you just bolt it in there and remember this wire comes off of uh from off of the dash so this is going to be your sending unit wire and you hook that in there and it's going to read and it's going to be accurate and you're not going to need mm -mm, you're not going to need the use of one of those aftermarket temperature gauges and that is how i do it <laughs> check out my next clip on how i had my amp gauge converted to a volt gauge it's electrifying <laughs>